Exciting times now as Dan Wheeler from Holden joins me in the studio. Thank you very much for coming in. No problem. And you've brought with you a pre-release model of the Panasonic GH5, which I'm very excited about. Yeah. It's not available until the end of March. Now, of course, the GH4 was extremely popular. This particular model is a little bit bigger, isn't it? About 10%, I believe. So what features have they packed into that extra space then? What, what can we look forward to? Well, I think uh, a good way to talk about it is, is, is to first have a look at the GH4, which was uh, one of the most sort of video-centric products there was for this kind of compact camera. And people love the GH4 because it did video better than all of the others in, in terms of the competition that was available. With the GH5, they've taken that to another level. So you've now got 4K recording in 50 or 60 frames. Wow. You've got 4K recording in 422 10 bit, which basically means you've got a more robust picture that you can grade more in post production, uh, more color information, more exposure information in there. Yep. You've got so many things. You've got 180 frames slow motion, which uh, I don't think there's any kind of camera available at this price right now or this size that can can do that. You've got a lot of stuff on here. You've got in-body image stabilization, which means that you've got five axis image stabilization if you use a, a lens that already has stabilization in it. Okay. You've also got with in-body stabilization, you can use any any man, manual lens like one of these SLR Magic super fast lenses. This is a 10 mil. So you can use a super fast manual prime lens and you still benefit from image stabilization, which is in the body of the camera. So lots of very cool stuff there. People are going to be very excited about it. Lots of good stuff, indeed. yeah. Uh, we've got the two SD card slots on the side. Talk us through why that might be interesting to people. Yeah, you've got two SD card slots now before you only have the one. I think most cameras only have the one of this type. So with two slots, it means you can record simultaneously. So you can record, basically make a copy of your, your footage. So you can keep one, give one to the client, or you can record sequentially so you can have a very long recording time, uh, one card after the other. Or you can choose to allocate one card as video and the other card as, as pictures. So you can keep your stills and, and video completely separate. You mentioned there about recording time. Another cool feature of this is the ability to record for as long as the SD card will allow you to, rather than before when it's sort of cut off at sort of 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. The GH4 and most cameras of this type, in fact, I think I can't think of any that don't do this apart from the GH5, will cut you off at just before 30 minutes. There's no limitation now on the GH5. You can, If you want to record video, you can just record it for as long as you want. In the past, you've had problems with cameras overheating. Um, this, with the technology that's built into GH5, the, the way they've done the cooling, there isn't any problem with overheating now at long record times, no matter what frame rate, uh, what resolution. Excellent, loving it already. Uh, let's talk about the audio side of things then. Yeah. Okay, well, there is an optional XLR block now, which um, is called the DMW XLR1. This basically gives you two XLR inputs. Now, oh, fab. For people that don't know what XLR is, it's basically a locking balanced input. It has a built-in low pass filter, so you can remove unwanted handling and wind noise. It also records in uh, 96 kilohertz, 24 bits. So that basically means an extremely high quality sampling. Absolutely, and this runs off the power of the camera. There's no sort of external. It runs off the power off the camera. It, it, there's no cables anywhere. It just that just clicks off, and you can just slide it straight off. It now means that you can record audio in the body of the camera, and uh, that you're fully 100% confident with, and you don't have to go to an external audio device to to do all that stuff, which meant carrying more stuff around, and having possibly to sync up the audio in post, which is kind of an unnecessary step. Of course, yeah. I mean, this, is, this I knew I was going to be excited today, but it just yeah. keeps giving this camera, doesn't it? What yes. else are you particularly excited about? What features stand out for you? You've got whole body weather sealing, splash proof, dust proof, and now apparently freeze proof. Wow. Don't ask me to <laughs> what temperature. Have you tested that one? <laughs> don't ask me to what temperature. I think it's something like minus six degrees, but wow. uh, yeah. Okay, so this is great for sort of, you know, if you're out and about doing any sort of action filming as well out in the wilderness. Yes. It should withstand the test of time there. Yes, absolutely. Fabulous. Now, um, in terms of video, we've mentioned some of the amazing features, 4K video, the ability to do slow motion, the two SD cards. Let's talk about the still side of things very quickly, because let's not yeah. forget that this is an incredibly capable stills camera as well. So you've got an entirely new processor and you've got an entirely new sensor. 
The sensor is now, I think, 20.3 megapixels. That combined with the faster image processing means you're getting infinitely better stills as well. One of the exciting things for me is the in-body in image stabilization. That's something which is, I think, really useful, uh, an overlooked feature. Brilliant. Well, we'll leave it there. As you say, there's plenty more features that we haven't managed to cover off today, but I think you've done a really great job of walking no us through the main ones. Thank you very much for our sneak peek today. No problem. Cheers.